What is going on? We'll go back to another video here today. Today we're back on some more Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, I think this is the guy who we're going to come to to get a like a pre-cut house or something like that. Excuse me, I think. Sir. That's what you Uncle told here? us. No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Do we get to pick a house? Fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at you. Mr. Martin? What? <laughs> okay. I guess we're John Martin now. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Why do I always have to drive? This is bull. So we got all the wood for our house, we just need to go get some tools. Our life is Our life is coming together. Oh yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns behind, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <laughs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. You were gonna say. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. 
I bet he's probably going to run off right when there's gunshots. He's probably going to be the biggest coward ever. He's talking all tough, but he probably ain't going to back it up. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Alright, acquire some tools from Nils. I can do that. Hello, good sir. Nils. I need, like, a wrench and some stuff like that. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. Okay. Hey, we said that at the exact same time. All right then. Me and John Marson, you know, great minds think alike. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it. Men was pretty weird. So happened. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Okay, that's a got some arrows and he's hit right in the shoulder. All right, let's go. Get out of here, buds. Think you can just attack us out of nowhere? Oh shoot! Boom! Is he dying over there? Well, yeah, you got shot in the arm. Oh, that's a uh, pretty scary. Seeing a dude with a machete running straight at you. Oh, bro, they're using bow and arrows. We got this. Oh, hey there. Oh, there's another one. But he died. <laughs> he died. Get out of here, old man. You really think you're going to finish me off with bows and arrows? Some of them are using guns. But not a lot of them. You want to back off there, sir? There we go. Come here. I think you can freaking shoot a bow and arrow at me. I'm John Marston. I guess I'm not gonna get a loot. Okay. Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right. You stay here. Guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Oh no! I don't want that. I want this. Oh shoot! I couldn't shoot at him because they have him. Let that man go. Ow. You mean? They threw us in. They're getting away with it. They climbed up in the tree. Yeah, we're all clearing them all out. Is there one in the tree? Oh my god. Oh. Where are we going, Charles? Oh, there's one? Is he up in the tree? You slippery little devil. Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. Oh, there's more. How many of there are you? You already killed like probably a couple dozen of you. 
Peek that head out, boy. Didn't even need to. Oh, I'm coming for all of you. Hey, you wanna you 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 wanna back off there, bud? You wanna back off, please? Appreciate it. Get away from Charles. Come here, bud. Come here. I just want to. I just want. Oh, okay, I'm probably gonna die now. I'm I'm dead. Back off of that machete, or you can try and take me down. Didn't work though. Did it work, huh? Run. I don't want to die. Oh, that was close. You didn't get me though. Ha! Gotta be quicker than that, boy. Ah! What you trying to do here? And boom goes the dynamite. Turn to Charles. Where's Mr. At least the tools are okay. Oh! Shit. All right. Well, what did I say? He talked all tough. And in the end, he didn't even put up a fight against them. You gotta move fast. Come on. I called it. Alright, where's the wagon? Let's go. Okay, I'm stuck in a tree. All right, we got the tools. I think they're all intact. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was. He was talking all tough. Did he? Skinner. Everyone knows, except me. Later, John. Charles. Get out of here, dumb you birds. I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. Come well, on, he's probably man. dead. Mr. Wayne, they put it right in his head. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. Place the tools into the wagon. All right. This is where we part ways, Mr. Tools. They spiked him right in the eye. Alright, Charles, come on. We're going back to the house? Alright. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed... is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. And I hope we put an end to it. They'll probably be Uncle! back. Uncle! Uncle! I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. Just while sleeping? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. He's not even gonna help us unload all the all the, the planks. He really is useless, god dang. And John. I love you. Don't you forget that. Aww. When is she gonna come back? Like, I mean, we've changed and... We did what she asked. 
I just want to know when she's going to come back. Alright, looks like we've got a mission with Uncle over here. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, what is up, Uncle? What you, what you doing sense? there? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Now, you use what you've got. Which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. I will do that Here gladly. Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Oh, a nice building montage. <laughs> I like this song. Oh, all right, we're doing it ourselves now. Let's carry this big thing. Well, Uncle sleeps over there. Here we go, Charles is all we need. All right, let's hammer this thing. Bop, bop. Careful, don't hit your finger. That thing hurts. Oh, we're doing it again. Well, it's coming together. Is Uncle gonna do anything? He's just sitting there the entire time. Oh, this is probably copyright now that I think about it. Well, we got the floor done. Almost. Oh, he does it by himself. I was tapping it the entire time. Okay. At least he's getting me stuff to drink. There we go, we got the floor all done. Making progress. Oh, now I do it. Getting the walls in. He's sitting there acting like he's trying to help. He ain't doing nothing. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Oh my god! It's coming together! It's coming together very nicely.
And I think that's everything. <laughs> oh my god, we just built a house. You have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail. Oh, I hope you here we go. Jack Hopefully, she finally well. comes back. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly. That's not what I look like. Impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope. Why'd it look different in the flashbacks? Ours. That's unrealistic. We're going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful. In his oh, Really? I, I don't think so. Smith has also appeared. Charles has been the helpful one. Surprisingly, a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Aw, he's such a good writer. Alright, a few days later. Alright, is she finally going to come back? Is she finally going to come back? Let's see. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Dang it, man. I thought she was going to come okay. back. I thought it was going to be a nice family reunion, but... I guess not. It's been a few days. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she just didn't get the letter yet. Maybe. Who knows? Back then, letters probably take a long time to, to, to get by. We got a mission with Uncle, so... And he's sleeping. Do you do any work around here? We should just kill him right now. He's just he he, he won't feel it. He's sleeping. Find you working just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin, so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. So we got to build a barn now, too? I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that you can't. Uncle, I swear to God. You are more annoying in this game than you are in the first game. Let's go. In the first game, he's older and a little bit wiser, even though he still doesn't really do anything. And I'm gonna rob him blind. 
Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Exactly. You didn't do a single thing to help. This is him. Alrighty. Speak to Lumber Salesman. I thought that was some weird name, but no, just a Lumber Salesman. Hello, sir. I want a barn now. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? Emily, what? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? Uh, okay. Is there a John have a secret daughter I don't know about? A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing your you. Your wife, again. Jerry. I, and it's you, been sir. A pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. Oh, uh, okay. Let's just not question that. A woman named we Jerry. For everything. <laughs> I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this I, man I, is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. John! Hey, it's Sadie! That's Sadie Adler? Hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank... All right, let's go bounty hunting. And get a crew to help with that barn. We can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Ooh, okay. Painted Sky? Hey, are you coming? Sadie, where are you going? This Painted Sky dip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long... Where even are you? An there you are. Was up there, well, Sadie, come on, what are you doing? Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You the Del Lobo. <laughs> Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about them. 
got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the I'm your employee list. now? Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well, then I guess well, what? I okay. Are done. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. Gotcha. I'm gonna take my rifle just in case. Alright. There we go. My favorite rifle. Alright, investigate the barn. Hello? I'm probably gonna get ambushed, aren't I? We've come for you. I knew it. I said I was gonna get ambushed, didn't I? You come on. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Oh, yeah, that's a concussion right there. Him. Come on, let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. I doubt it's going to be this easy. We're probably going to get attacked on the way there. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. There isn't any bounty. Oh, shut up. We're gonna get attacked any minute now, I'm calling it. Guess not. Okay. We made it. Unless we're going to get attacked right in the town. Which I doubt they would do that, but... Never know with these people in Red Dead. It was crazy back then. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. I don't even need to hitch him. Alright. Come here, dirt bag. I ain't killing Sadie. Mr. Sheriff? 200, maybe Mr. for 300? Ramon Cortez. Cortez. Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. 
Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Been an entire day? How long is it taking these guys? Oh no. He's about to get broken out. Well, let's do it. Get off our land. This pistol sucks. Let me get this one. Sadie, you want to, like, duck a little bit so I don't shoot you in the back of the head? Man, this brings back memories. Remember when we were in Rhodes fighting everyone? We're on the we're on the opposite team in that time though. Fighting the law. Now we're fighting for the law. It's crazy how the world works. Oh, you just took a bullet to the face and just ate it. You ain't taking another one. I thought that was Javier for a minute, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, that man folded like an amblet. Okay, what was that? They jail apart. broke him out, didn't they? Yeah. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. All right, we gotta go get our bounty back. I'm gonna take this guy's hat, though. Let me see this hat. Oh yeah, we got a nice sombrero. John Marston, L L Marstino. I don't know. I'm trying to think of some Spanish name for him. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. Uh, you could have watched out. Ew, I'm stepping a bunch of horse poop. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got Whoa, okay. Someone must have talked. One of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. 
I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. I still love the sombrero so much. I think it fits John so much. Ah, uh, I'm gonna ride into a tree. I need to watch the road. Get out of here, you stupid birds! I'd wager that's them. Oh. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Okay, I was just gonna ride down there. Yeah. Start shooting all of them. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no need for name calling, Sadie. That hurt my feelings. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Easy. As we like right right up on them. Keep your distance. There's literally a dude right there staring kind of at us. Oh no, he's looking the other way, never mind. Hopefully my sombrero doesn't get me away. Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. Okay, ma'am. Shoot well. Oh, she knows I'm I'm a terrible shot with a sniper rifle. Oh my god, okay. Take him out. Oh! That was a right hook and a half. Missed already. Alright. Missed again. Ooh. Got him right in the brain. Ah. Oh, got him. What are you trying to do? Get you right in the freaking hamstring. There's another one. There you are. Oh, he pointed at me. Then he died. Okay, where are the... There's, there's one right there. Boom. I'm going to shoot the lantern. Burned. Burned to death. Hopefully he's burning. Alright, this one right here. Is that Micah? Bro, that looks like Micah. Well, if it's Micah, he's dead now. There we go. Got him. I got him. Don't worry. You told me to stay up there. Alright, whatever. I just broke both my kneecaps, but I'm coming. Bro, is all I have sniper rifles? What happened to my rifle that I had? Alright, whatever. I guess this will have to do. I'll take this semi-automatic pistol, though. Oh, I'm here. Oh, this thing's weak. I don't even know if I want to use this. I'll get my rifle back out. Boom! Ouch. Where you at, though? Get out of here. And you up there. There we go. Are you not dead? I put two shots into your chest. Alright, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm 100% I'm gonna die. Get down, John. Get down. Get down. Just take him out, please. Where's my, where's my health cure? Here it is. Drink it. Chug it. Alright, we're all good now. Take some tobacco, too. Get out of my way, Sadie. See what you did? You messed up my aim. And you over there. Got you right in the shoulder. Run, John, run. Ow. Okay. Bah. There we go. You're both dead, boys. There's one behind me. Oh, through the bushes. Didn't even see. Oh, there's another one? Oh, 
many of them are you? Jesus. What are you trying to do? <laughs> hey. Get back here. There we go. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey, estoy aquí. Shut your gut down. Oh, Oh god. This poor dude suffered two concussions in one day. Sadie is ruthless. Alright, I need my rifle for this one. What are you trying to do here, boy? Pulling off on me in a horse? Your horse is abandoning you. He knows you're gonna die. He ain't going down with you. I believe so. going to rob our bounty yeah, real quick. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy All right. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John. Okay, Rossi. horse, don't try to kill me now. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Get on there. Let's give you another go, girl. It's about time we collected All right, ride back. the roads. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? Okay. <laughs> Don't look at what just happened, Sadie. You weren't supposed to see that. Wasn't meant to happen. Get up, horse. Come on. All right, let's be a little bit more careful this time. As I crash right into a rock. Okay. Come on, Sadie. God dang, I freaking crashed and I still made it up before you. Oh my god, woman, hurry up. Alright, she's coming. Close enough. I bet. You ain't getting out of this one. Oh, the bodies are still here. That's nice. Why do I always have to carry him in? Hey, Sadie, you, you want to stop? Thank you. Wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? 
Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. All right. What do we make about $175 off that since we had to go get him again? It's not too bad. Back then, that's like, oh my god, you were rich if you had $175. Oh, we got a barn already built? Okay. Who am I? No one's just afraid to let go. Yeah. You decide if you ever gonna let me know. Yeah. So it's like if you ever try to let go. I'm sad, you know, yeah. I'm sad, you know, yeah.